Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other hey guys a very good evening so today the date is 25th of June 2021 and here I am with another live trade of mine so today I traded on two stocks the first one was GSW steel and the second one was Apollo hospital so let's get on to the video wherein I will show you the order book and the net position and post that we will directly jump onto the charts wherein I will go ahead and explain why uh, I took up the trades on these two stocks and we will analyze it technically okay so let's get on to the video first and let me play the video here so logging into my asta wave uh, mobile application here and uh, we'll get on to the completed tab as you can see there uh, we have taken four uh, four trade executions were done okay let me pause the video here so the first trade was jsw steel as you can see there the second was apollo hospital and both the trades were in the buy direction okay and uh, uh, if you see the all tab the all tab here okay let me get back a bit here where it shows the all tab yeah so as you can see here uh godrich ind i was trying to take up a position in the uh buy direction but it did not allow me to do so because of the shortage of funds okay so i was having a capital of seventy thousand today uh, that is 70k so in 70k i was able to take only two trades okay so that is the reason why godrich ind uh, ind is showing as reject okay so let me play it again Right, so under the completed tab, we have the trades and here is the net position tab, refreshing it again. And as you can see, the profit that was made was 2,729 rupees. Okay, Apollo Hospital and the J and JSW Steel were the two trades. Now to summarize today's day, uh, the capital that was used was around 70,000, as I said. And uh, simultaneously, I was able to take two trades uh, at, at the same time. Okay, uh, was trying to take a third trade, but it did not allow me because of the shortage of funds. But again, it's okay. So again, the return that was made today was very close to uh, 70,000. Uh, if you take this as 3,000, it's around 3. Uh, nine percent let's take it as four percent okay so the return that we got on a seventy thousand capital was around a four percent return which again is a very nice return when it comes to day trading right you remember i always emphasize on getting a return of four to five percent every single day on whatever capital do you have okay so today as well we were able to achieve that okay so let's get on to the video let it finish it by itself and then we will move on to the chart okay right so oh it started again okay let me stop it so let's move on to the chart now okay so the left hand side uh, is for jsw steel uh sorry is for apollo hospital and the right hand side is for the jsw steel chart okay let's explain the apollo hospital trade first okay so the entry that was taken okay before i actually start with the explanation i got some pings from some of the guys asking me why are you explaining the live trades by taking the pivot points now remember guys pivot point is one of the most respected technical that is respected throughout the world okay now it's completely a different thing that some people use the pivot point on a higher time frame and some use on a 15 minutes time frame but normally the psychology is that pivot points do not work in smaller time frames like 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes 3 minutes 30 minutes that is the normal psychology okay but when it comes to me i strongly believe that the pivot point standard it absolutely works fine in a 15 minutes time frame 
you need to know how to use the pivot points okay just because it is a technical which is respected throughout the world that will not work out for you okay you need to know how to use a particular thing only then it will work for you okay so that is the whole reason why i am explaining the live trades depending on the pivot points but remember i have also mentioned that earlier that my technicals are different okay i do use pivot points pivot points are one of the technicals that i use day in and day out that is for sure but along with pivot points when it comes to day trading if you just use one technical it will almost become impossible for you to take the decisions okay so when it comes to my setup i use multiple indicators and oscillators to decide my trades but here since i cannot expose everything uh, on youtube i am taking one of the strongest indicators that can be used now the prime the main thing which you need to concentrate on is to understand how am i using pivot point once you understand how i am using pivot points then slowly you can go ahead and add up things onto the chart and the entire setup will become more stronger okay so i hope i have answered this question as to why i am explaining my live trades uh, by taking the example of pivot point standard okay now getting back to the technical analysis now for apollo hospital the entry that i took was at the 10:15 candle okay 10:15 am is when i made the entry and the cost was 3307 now if you see this red candle right that is the candle where i took the entry this green candle breached a particular resistance level that is r1 and closed above it that gave me the confirmation that okay it is time to go long okay so the moment this particular candle the 1015 candle started i took a long entry now my entry was taken at 3307 it went up to 3309.90 and it fell till 3275 it was almost like a uh, uh, how much 8595 30 to 35 rupees fall that happened in a single candle that is at the 1015 candle now if you are not experienced then you will surely panic okay because the moment the technicals met and you took up the trade at any price in the 1015 candle you never know at what price will it take the entry as i said i always take the entry at the market order using the market order so the market order executed my trade at 3307 but the moment it executed my trade at 3307 within seconds it fell for around 30 to 35 points now as a trader the question is what should you do the answer to this question is you have a stop loss defined right now what should be the stop loss the stop loss should be the recent swing low right so this candles low should be your stop loss what is what is the 10 o'clock candles low that is 3260 so you can place your stop loss somewhere around 3259 or 58 or 57 anything okay so that should be your stop loss and just because this 1015 candle was falling that does not mean that that should trigger a panic uh, button in you okay you are a trader please remember because none of the stocks will give you all the candles in green okay it has to be green and red and green and red like that okay so just by seeing one red candle it does not make any sense that you should start panicking okay so have the stop loss intact and stay back in the trade okay let the market do what it what it has to do okay now coming to the point as in the entry was at 3307 but i'm asking you to have a stop loss at around 3 to 6 0 so it is like a 47 to be stop loss right now remember i always consider taking up a stop loss which is around 1% of the script price so it is a 3000 rupee script 3200 rupee script so i would suggest you a stop loss of around uh, 32 32 to 35 rupees okay but in this case the stop loss was around 47 rupees now the question here arises the question that arises here is since the stop loss is 47 rupees should i keep such a big stop loss now my answer to that question is of course yes because the market will not give you the price points according to your calculation if you have decided that i will put a stop loss at 1% of the script price that does not mean that the market will respect that 
okay so plus minus calculations has to be there permutations combinations has to be there okay so if you're seeing that normally you should put up a stop loss at 32 rupees but in this case if the technicals are telling you that 32 rupees it's not the right stop loss it might get hit 47 rupees is a right stop loss so put your stop losses at 47 rupees what's the big deal okay you cannot deny or you need to be i would say you need to be flexible on some of the trades not all the time the price points will match your thought process okay so that was about the stop loss so this was the entry and uh, i exited at the 11 o'clock candle okay so the exact time where i exited was 11 13 a.m which is the 11 o'clock candle and the reason why i exited was it was approaching another resistance right r2 was the resistance and as i always say always try to exit just below r2 okay i understand that 3327 was uh, something which uh, i would have waited for because the high of the uh, of the uh, 11 o'clock candle was uh, 3330 okay so i just exited three rupees earlier and if you see r2 was actually sitting at exactly mm, 3348 so you might question me that uh, uh, you had a chance of earning 20 more rupees here so why did not you waited for r2 to be reached right for the price to reach r2 well as I always say, for a 3000 rupees script, normally I aim for uh, around 27 to 30 points. But in this case, even if I'm getting a 20 rupees move, a 20 rupees profit, what is bad if I go ahead and book it? Right? There is nothing bad in it. The main thing that I have in my mind while booking out the profit is that the resistance is being approached. Right? That is the only thing that I see on the chart that I have to make sure that I am booking out my profit before the resistance is being reached because you never know when it will start falling it's a 3000 rupees uh, 3000 rupees script uh, fall of around 40 50 60 rupees is not a big deal within seconds it can be done right so that is the whole reason why I booked out at 3327 rupees and uh, my total profit points were exactly 20 rupees okay now if I would have stayed then it actually gave a move of uh, 3307 was my entry and it went up to like 3447 is it 3446 it was like 130 to 140 rupees move if i would have stayed back in this trade ignoring the fact that r2 is being reached or approached i would have caught this move but again as a day trader you cannot do that nobody in this world can be sure that this move was about to happen the moment the 11 o'clock candle closed nobody on on this earth can tell you that this such a big move is going to happen for the next two candles okay so please remember the learning that you get from this trade is that you need to respect the technicals it does not matter whether the stock goes up further whether the stock falls after you come out of the trade it should not just matter to you what's happening on the charts after you book your profit now the second scenario which is coming into my mind is that many of the guys when they see this uh, up move they will jump and take up a trade uh, they'll take up a buy trade here never do that okay you never know what is going to happen you never know whether whether this particular up move is going to sustain or not okay so if you are getting such wild moves and such fast moves either in the upward direction or in the downward direction please do not try to catch those points most of the time 95 percent of the time you will fail and if you belong to the rest five percent then you will be considered as lucky and the trade will be will be considered as a gamble that particular trade execution cannot be called as a cannot be called as trading that will be gambling for sure okay so please respect your technicals if you have made a particular rule for you just follow those rules you enter after a particular resistance level is breached you come out of the trade just before a resistance level is being approached as simple as that okay so that was all about apollo hospital now getting on to the jsw steel trade okay now 
the entry here was taken at the 9:51 a.m that is the uh, 9:45 candle okay now as i told you if you are following the standard practices of pivot point trading this is not the right time for you to enter but my technicals the technicals which i use they suggested me to take up a long trade at the 9:45 candle and i did it and i also got the a good profit out of that okay but let's talk about the standard procedure that should be followed if you are trading with pivot points okay so forget this entry okay we are not interested in this entry because this particular uh, resistance was not breached right r2 was not breached by this candle because it closed below r2 so this resistance is still strong so when did the resistance breach it breached at the 1045 candle right 1045 is the candle which actually breached the resistance so your entry would be at any price at the 11 o'clock candle okay now the problem here is if you take up a trade here at the 1145 sorry at the 11 o'clock candle your target will be reduced right let's say for example you took up the trade uh, the, let's let's consider the worst case scenario okay uh, let's say that your trade was was executed at around 697 okay and the pivot the next pivot which will act as a resistance it is exactly at 701.95 paise okay let's take it as 702 rupees okay so how much how much uh, w what are the chances of your profit the chances of your profit are around 4 to 5 rupees right so for a 700 rupees script if you are getting a profit of 4 to 5 rupees do you think that it is a bad trade i don't think so okay now the thing that should matter if if at all you are taking a trade at the 11 o'clock candle here the only thing that should matter to you is you should wrap up your trade before r3 is reached right so if you are taking up a trade at 697 try to come out of the trade at maybe 700.50 paise or 7 sorry 700 uh, rupees 50 paise or 701 rupees don't wait for the exact uh, r3 point that is 701.95 you are getting my point right so book out your profits at 4 rupees 50 paise or 5 rupees what is the big deal in it there's no big deal okay the only thing that you should be having in your mind when you trade such setups is that you should avoid these type of resistances okay so if so if you are trading a 700 rupees script and if you are booking a profit at four to five rupees there is nothing bad at all okay and you can see here r3 did work as a beautiful resistance it tried breaching it but it was not able to breach it and it fell okay so if you are a greedy trader you will wait for uh, like uh, r3 to breach and then it will go up uh, you will expect a profit point of around 708 or 710 rupees if you belong to such traders then you know what would happen to your trade you will be converting your profit into losses because of this fall okay so don't do that right then so i believe uh, uh, you uh, understood the explanation uh, for both the trades that was taken up okay and uh, uh, coming to my premium channel uh, I had given up the calls uh, just a moment let me have a quick check here mm. today I gave a call on yeah uh, so two calls were given Sun TV and MFSL okay uh, and in both the trades we were able to uh, take up a profit of close to 1% of the skip price simultaneously okay so you can have a look on sun tv and mfsl uh, to do your technical analysis and to uh, anticipate why i took up those trades that would be a kind of homework for you okay and i hope you understood the thought process that i had uh, before i for the reason why i took up the trades in apollo hospital and gsw steel okay so i hope it was helpful and i will see you all later i'll see if i get some time next week uh, to take up the live trading again uh, this week anyhow i managed to take up two days uh, from uh, from five days next week i will surely try again to take up some time and uh, uh, come again and explain the trades that i take up and uh, i'll see you all later then 
All right. So you all have a nice weekend with your family and friends and take care of yourselves. And I'll see you all later. Thank you so much. Bye bye.